everyone in Rust struggles with the same one problem, and that is keeping your loot when you log off. Now a lot of the time the base you build can be the main factor that decides whether you have loot when you wake up, or you don't. But no matter what base you have, there is always still that chance of getting raided. So I wanted to do something I've done before, which is make a base that is extremely hard to raid and an extremely safe place to put your loot, and that is an underwater vault. Now, I've done that previously, and if you haven't checked that video out, go check that out as it kind of shows the first iteration of this. But the second one is not only a base under the water where you can store your loot, but it is an offset bunker base, which increases the raid cost by another 8 C4. Now, before we get to the underwater bunker, we obviously have to get a start on a server. So this was an American server, which meant it wiped very early and I was not on for the first hour, but Anarchy and Slippy had already set up a base right next to an underwater labs as we had no BPs on this server, so we were gonna need a lot of scrap. So of course, the first thing I did was grab a fishing rod, a diving kit, and head down to underwater labs to start getting some scrap for us. Hey, did they put the crosshair on the spray can yet? No. Nah. Next patch, eh? Better die. My cross face. Oh. These are streamer skins. What are you doing? Yo, they're building a lot. Are they? Yeah. Where? On show. On show. Ooh. It's cog. I just got the perfect amount. Bro, I got twelve sharks. Six are off. It's on the to-do list. Yeah. It's not on the priorities. Priorities. Well, it was heli, so we could move loot. It, like, it was after that. Yeah. Easy 1k scrap. Jesus. Get the cold quick, get the cold quick. So after a very successful underwater labs run, I'd gone and sold the fish and done my pump mission at village. And at this point, we'd seen that our neighbors already had a mini and they were flying back and forth from what seemed to be the snow farming. So we decided to go over and see if we could catch them on their way home from a run. There's woods. <laughs> no way. <you laughs> look who's the climb. It's the best way. Uh, I mean, Anarchy, he's right there. <laughs> guy is just not. How he's coming? 70. Is it wait, next to me? The one in the bushes? Next yeah, to the bushes? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Sprinting at him. Oh, sorry, that's me, that's me. Monster. He's, oh, that's He's full of farm. He's full of farm. Watch front door. I'm watching Watch. door. <laughs> I'm gonna take Kelly. I'm gonna fly the other way. I'm gonna fly west. I mean, he might know it's me. With Stevie, mate, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shoot my second one because I thought, oh, wait, there's no way that he's got hit. I just, I just there's turned no way, there's, there's no way they have a boonie hat and a fing gyro. So, after paying our neighbors a visit and yoinking their gyro, I went back to base and tech tree down to Tommy and learnt a hollow that was laying around. Then we decided that we'd go into the trains to see what kind of scrap and comps we could get to make sure that we didn't have any problems with cloth or anything like that going into the day. While we were down there, we saw that a crate dropped at train yard, so we decided to go up there and see if we could get control of that. Now, there wasn't much fighting apart from one or two guys that turned up, but what we did get was this bloody good crate. Don't- Oh, oh what the f God. Let's go. Come down here with- What was it? What was it? Rocket C4. C4. Oh, okay. Okay. Wind turbine. 
Let's run home. Go back to base Let's and go. raid them before they honeycomb. Yes. Yeah. So with that C4, including the one we got from the airdrop earlier on, we had two ready to go. And we decided it was time to just go for it at our neighbors to see if we could get lucky and hit their TC. You boost Wait, are you raining from the roof? No. Can you boost okay, yourself? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, Garage right. me oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch garage doors. Yeah, Watching full box of stone. Yeah, yeah. Holy! Oh, 10 world wars. Rust Clash is a Rust Skins case battle site. You can pick from a huge catalog of cases, all with different skins inside that you have a chance of winning. And if you don't want to just open cases by yourself, you can join or create a case battle where you verse another player, or you can try a luck at Upgrader, or even try their new game mode, Plinko. In addition to all that, they have their rain feature, which gives away $20,000 every week. If you use my code MAXHS, you can get three free cases to get started. Thank you to Rust Clash for sponsoring today's video. So sadly, the wall we chose wasn't their TC, but considering they had three bases, we had still gotten quite a lot for our 2C4. But we decided we wanted to see what was in that TC room. So I went back and started crafting up some explo that I was able to tech tree, and we came back to go through that stone wall. What the f is this? There's four bows! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah, I thought. Here again? Watch out. Yeah. Oh, got a tier three. Fuck. No, because he would have despawned there. There's no way. Let's back click this. So after blowing that and getting no comps or anything, we knew that because they were next to underwater labs, they had to have a comps box somewhere. So we'd seen that a guy had still been trying to upgrade the 2x2, and we decided to blow that next. Even though this was quite a lot of boom, it would still turn out to be worth it, even if it just meant we could clear them out of the area. Shoot it. He oh. just closed it. Or Bernie. That was their Large comps Bernie. as well. That was their comps as well. There's a comps box here with only one thing. Back with this. Yeah. He's in the No? He locked himself in airlock, I think. I think he's airlock. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, oh my god. Wait, let me god. see. Let me see. My god. Let me see. I knew it. Come look. I knew it. Baby, come look. The front door? Baby, come look. So it took some back picking, but we ended up getting him hiding in the airlock, and he was absolutely loaded. So at this point, we'd made Nee cleared out our area of any type of competition and had complete control of it. So now it was time for us to venture inland and see what kind of trouble we could get into. It didn't take us long to find a big group that was on an ice lake right next to launch, and we had suspected they were the guys taking Bradley. Aspect saw a Scrappy flying around, kind of weirdly, but he'd seen it go from their base. So we thought, why not use our gyros, get in their compound, and see if we could catch them on their way home. Yeah, it's just some weird shit. Yeah, it's just going around in circles. It's a weirdo. Is it gonna see us? You're aware about it. You should read for any second. Oh, I see it. it oh, there's an airdrop. There's an airdrop. It's circling in here. Just fly over. There goes up the pits. It just landed. It's landing. Wait for the airdrop. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Bro, this base is so free. It's probably it's it's. I'm trying to hide in the crouch corner. Oh, they're coming in now. Much. They're coming in now. They're humming. I hear. They just landed outside. Landed outside, so they. Excuse me, sir, this is your eviction notice. Down one. 
Don't overtake Watch the door, watch Don't the door. Watch the door. You very small. They're gonna come up to you. You open door. Dead, other side of compound. What's he opening? Which? Oh no. He's got very good peaks on him. Where from? Peaks. Oh, peaks from here, I think, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I'll hold. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Stay up there. Stay up there. Yeah, I am. Nice. Another one outside. Good. Thank you. Can't get either gun. It's under his Aspect. No, no. I'm dipping with this. You guys good, good. There's another one outside. Just get the AK kids here. Maybe even the scrap. AK oh. outside. You don't want to leave. No, he's on the other side. And you can, you can. So, even though they knew somehow that we'd sneaked into the compound, we were still able to evict a few kits from them. And with that, I flew away while Anarchy and Aspect held the roof. Now, I had two satchels on me and I knew their base was pretty easy to raid if we could get lucky with a few doors being open. So I went back to base and Bambi helped me craft up everything we had as quickly as we could so we could see whether we could go back with a tiny bit of explo and some satchels and maybe get lucky going deep on them. Do you want me to hate you? Oh, okay. You need a... I can either hate you or I can explo. We slip here. Oh, and that. And that. Seal all the way up. Oh, just have all of it, it actually. Sealed, yeah. So it depends whether they know or not. That's the armored door there, right there. You're gonna but need this... a lot more than that, unfortunately. This wall. Are we going through there? there? Yeah. Right, we don't going have enough the to go through it, but. How much do you have? To go back. I have 50 XP. Uh. Was that not planned to go through that wall? Trying? Um, no, 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 I didn't have enough. I was wanted to go back and see if I could get the bodies, but yeah, I mean we can. I have to go back with the gyro, but yeah, that's right. You can just hold. Yeah, but if that wall gets upgraded, then we have to make it's it not going there, surely. Yeah, if we don't make it obvious. Um, so after going through one door, we were stuck with a garage door and not enough to go through a wall. But as I was about to take two more AK kits, Anarchy and Aspect had got off them when they tried to take the roof back. I was about to leave and they decided to make it a little easier for us. They're coming, this one, on me. How much HEs is it to go through there? It's like 21. Oh, this to is the To go through door, a, so a door? That's good. To go through the wall. Oh, it's seven, eight. Oh, he opened. I just shot him. I can the door open. Do, yeah, do we just go through the door down the bottom? Uh, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the bro, bro, bro. I didn't know you were inside. I'm gonna use it. They're opening doors and shit. They don't know. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. You can see the stairs. Right, right, right here. Come down, come okay, down, okay, come okay. down! Nice, nice, we've got tier 3. You got insane on him. Do you have a yeah, bag in your soon? No, no, I don't. Oh, I didn't get free! What the? What? what? No GP though. Right. Uh, yeah. opening compound door, compound door. Yeah, wait. Can we just leave what we got, bro? Yeah, Someone yeah, I'm, just I'm trying to loot everything. I'm trying to loot everything. Can you loot? What's his body? I'm gonna put all my shit yeah. on it. You can still jump out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just fly out. Yeah. yourself there, Aspect. Yeah, I think Make a dot anyway. So, even though we couldn't go fully deep, we did get quite deep and a bunch of kits out of it. Now, we ended up flying back with a bit more explode to see if we could blow through one G door and get Aspect out. 
but I got killed out of the gyro as we are flying over by a different group. Even though Anarchy and Woods ended up cleaning them all up and getting us an LMG and two more AK kits, that was pretty much that for now as we had no boom left. Now this wasn't the end for us, we wanted to raid them. We had heaps of comps so we were able to tech tree down to all the boom stuff that we needed like launcher explosive and rocket and all we needed to do was farm the sulfur and start cooking it, which is exactly what we did. Now while the boys did that, I started working on the underwater vault. Now the vault itself is nothing special of a layout. It was simply just a 3x2 with honeycomb on the sides and on the top. The main thing was the offset bunker. Now this is done by Gamer Lights, which if you haven't already, go check his channel out. I'll link the video of him showing the exact design that he's come up with here, where there is no missing triangle as well. Now as you would do above land, I basically just did that underwater. I ran it off the main base so it was still in line with the base, and I turned it into what would look like an external TC that would stop someone from griefing us if they raided us. Now you could go a lot more overboard with this, you could add a lot more doors and you could add more honeycomb, and it could start getting absolutely ridiculous when it comes to raid cost. But for us, we knew that because it was day one and going into day two, there probably wasn't going to be anyone who would have a crazy amount of C4 that they would need to actually get to any of the loot inside. With only three garage doors added, an armored door, and the bunker sealed, even if you went through the side or the doors, we were already looking at a 16 C4 plus raid. Now that might not seem like heaps if you go deep into a wipe, but as it was day one, this was perfectly fine and there was pretty much zero chance in my eyes that it was going to get raided. So the whole time I was setting this up and upgrading it to stone so it couldn't get greased by any passerby, the boys had done heaps of farming and cooked all of that sulfur up. So after I had crafted up all the rockets, it had only been about an hour since we'd gone deep on that group and we were pretty much ready to go raid. But first, us being us, we had to have some shenanigans outside of base that would slow us down a little bit. This is going in the water. It's going in the water. <laughs> I honestly thought the, the side thing was gonna clip the wall and I forgot it just doesn't exist so it actually just didn't even that was perfect. That was fucking perfect. That was fucking perfect. Oh my god, what are you doing? I <laughs> think You guys want some bags? Oh. <laughs> he jumped down and killed himself! <laughs> <laughs> You're so free! You're so free! Oh. He jumped down and killed himself! <laughs> oh my god, you're so shit, it's incredible. Shut up! Shut up. He's slippy, how has he not got outside in all that time? <laughs> Six different people got flattened. I was waiting for it to be safe. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be safe. <laughs> Am I flying? Be thinking me when you die. Wow. Takes three hundred. Okay, bro. stay on the roof. No. Oh, oh, sleeping. What about hellies? I'll start chopping bags. Yeah, allies might come over again. How'd you get in? Oh, left, left one. Pretty good. Oh my god. Top right oh. comps, really good. Oh my god. I'm actually oh, so happy. Mr. Moyle and Jesus over here. Oh my god, dude. They Why did they not G crafters? Why did they not get this? Well, we're not going to be able to seal this. It's kind of... 3, 2, 1. Pop. Pop. Bang. Nice. North. Oh, that's 1.4k nice. scrap. Holy. Okay, nice. Now, obviously, they weren't online. Now, I didn't plan for that when I went over there. It's obviously a lot better for content if they are online, but I was pretty surprised that they'd logged off after a group had 
took a bunch of kits and guns from them and then proceeded to try and raid them, but I guess in that hour they probably had to go to bed. So if by any chance you guys are watching, um, sorry we hit you while you were sleeping. So after this, it was already getting pretty late at night, so most of us wanted to jump off and be on early the next day. So I made up all the vending machines and added them into the underwater vault and upgraded it all to sheet metal and high core. We moved all of our good stuff down there and sealed it up. And in the morning, it was all still safe and sound, and we don't even think it had been found by anyone yet. Start off day two, the server was honestly not that great. Now, we still had quite a bit of boom, so we wanted to do some raids at least before we decided whether we were going to stay on it any longer. So, me and Woods jumped into Gyro first thing and took some of our MLRS over to military base to stash that ready for when we found a base we wanted to raid. Now, as we were pulling up there, we heard a raid going on right next to it. So, of course, me and Woods had to go check that out to see what was going on. Nice. No, dude. Yeah, I see him. He's on it right now. It's raiding. There's a full kit on it. They have a turret. The AKs. They're running out right now. Kill him. They have it. They have it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which There's one? Another one on the right. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. No, never mind. You are. Two of them went to the furnace base. He's uh, on top, on top, on top. He just ran inside. Yeah. He didn't even. Okay, three, two, one. I'm, I'm looking I'm another behind way. Their turret. Oh, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing, missing. Oh, bro, he's like one shot, man. I can't Team. see. Team. You need to get to my body and you did yeah, it actually. Yeah. He, he, he's looking at it now, he's finishing me. You don't push. have low grade or cloth to make meds. It was, no. It's just pushing. Okay, you gotta watch the door then. Um, uh, how am I gonna get to you? Uh, uh, that's not good. Do you just grab my stuff and just hang out? Go for round two. It's gonna survive, Max. I'm getting HP. Is there anything in the other base, the underwater one? No cloth, no, no rickets. Are you ready to fly? Um, um, I'm running. We'll bring one. them back as well. Yeah. Ooh, good. Yeah. All right. I'm three grids away. Hit so many times. Yeah, not that oh far, my right? god, I was right there. So, I finally died. Even though I probably could have ran away, I kind of got caught up in the fun of the fight a little bit and decided to stick around too long. Now, Slippy and Aspect were flying over with some boom to raid the fob, but they didn't get there in time. They did, however, see the group leaving a boat, and they were able to follow at a distance them all the way back to their base, which was right here. So, me, Slippy and Woods decided to grab some boom and go to a three-man online. Never wish. Ah! Don't scare me like that, bro. Do we bed or one life? Oh, I guess we're not putting a bed down. Is he online? Yeah. I don't have any rockets. 
Are we going eight or? It's open. Um, we can go through this top door or we can just go straight to the side. Mm -hmm. Which one do we do? Good door. Good door. I hope that it's sheet middle. Oh, you got it? Oh, I should have Let's go down. Okay, it's going up. Yeah, yeah, I am. Tarts, tarts, tarts going on. Oh! Oh, am I gonna die? Some don't have oh, a one so no idea. This one goes down, I think. Oh rocket. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh cheat middle, cheat middle, cheat middle. Uh, you got so enough I got three C4. Okay, yeah, I got one. One more. Nice. Just closed. Go garage door. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Like that's maybe safe one. Yeah. Die. Can you follow HP? Follow HP? Yeah. Okay, you get ready to swap me with the PvP rocket. Yeah. He's opening. He's going into this one. He's dead. I don't know, ladder. Oh my god, so much crude. Okay, I'm, I'm doing satchels. Uh, okay, or or have you got? I can okay. stand and blow me. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I got 60x1, 50x1. He can't see this guy. It's, 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 now. it's actually a problem. Huh? There's no bags down here, just satchels going off. Careful. I didn't realize it was damaged. He can seal this door. <laughs> I have a row of crude on me, by the way. We need some kind of way to destroy this turret. Oh, we'll know. go after this. Oh, we have enough to get through. Oh. I don't know how. He must have turned them off. He can close this garage door. <laughs> not with you, Woods. Where are these guys okay. coming from, Slippy? Uh, that big rock. It's not multi JC. He's opening doors? Where is that? He just ran in. It's not like I only play really easy to go to Jaro. Go to base with him. It's one garage door, that's it. So at this point, the defenders were just able to close a garage door, which meant that Woods was stuck in there with me and Slippy on the outside. Now this was a pain, but we did have more boom at base, so the boys just had to hold long enough that I could fly back, grab the boom, and come back and blow him out. Now in the time that I was gone, four guys had come back to their base, apparently they were complaining about us roam raiding them, even though we just turned up and raided them when we raided them, but anyway, Woods and Slippy were able to kill all of them, but they were still running in and grabbing guns. Slippy had just died, so he was also naked at this point when I was rolling back up with the boom. Tommy's dead. I'm watching the Tommy's body. I can't light it up for you. What? I'm coming yeah, Ruby, he's dead. Yeah, come down. Tommy, when you come through the I'm window. Coming in right now. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. You pick up that Tommy? Pick up the Tommy. He's in the window? Yeah. And then the stars are on the back side if you can. Get the Tommy, they might have more shit on that door. Okay, it's open. Is that X? 
access to you? Does you yep. outside, Sophie? No. No, I, I tried, but... Oh shit, you just opened the door. Uh. He's got a gun on his body. Nice. He's got AK on his body. Yeah, okay. Like One fifty, yeah, that's enough. Oh, oh, what? Didn't even hit, didn't even damage it. It hit the bag or something. You know? uh, whatever. Got enough stuff. Yeah. What are you wearing, Slippy? Wolf Eddie. Yeah. Okay. On the jump up, I'll drop a face mask, Slippy. I, I can make ladders if there's rope. I got heaps of rope. We'll break the tier 3 though. Oh, it's tier 2 upstairs. So, after successfully getting that raid done, we still had some more boom. And most of us were feeling like it was probably going to be the last day, but we wanted to do something kind of crazy before we got off. Now, for some context, earlier on in the first day, Woods and the other guys saw some dudes doing underwater labs, and they went for a little counter. Now these guys all were tagged up as EY, so it seemed like they were a clan. After the boys got on and killed a few of them, one of them seemed to have swum away with all the loot. Now we followed him to a fishing village, and then he waited there for quite a while. We then followed him all the way back to his base with a boat and a few people on shore, and we were able to kill them and get most of the stuff from their underwater labs run. Now at this point, their base was just a tiny one as you can see here, and they seemed to only have one gun or so. But, as it was the next day, they had seemed to do a bit of farming, because their base now looked like this. Now it was a pretty ridiculously big base, but when you look at it really, it seemed to just be a whole bunch of stone, and they hadn't really upgraded much. They were getting to their shooting floor, but they weren't there yet. So we assumed their loot would probably just be in the bottom, like a typical 3x3 or 2x2. And as we had 12 MLRS stashed from earlier when me and Woods had gone over to military base, we decided, why not? This will do quite a lot of damage to the base, and we had about two lines of rockets to spare. The thing was, when we started running over, the server was going to restart in 10 minutes. Now as we were all kind of done with the server and we wanted to jump off and do some other things, we said, fuck it, let's try and raid it in 10 minutes before the server restarts. And to say we were taking this kind of relaxed would be a bit of an understatement. You like the same as you're slipping, huh? They haven't raid starting in 600 seconds, what the Let's go in the fishing me? village! Can we, uh, can we do the raid in 10 minutes? No. I feel like we can. Can I? Do we can? Where's everyone going? I don't, I don't, I don't give a f. Okay, yeah, right. let's, let's, let's just give away our kits. 10 minutes? Yeah, do it. Yeah, let's get off the uh, server in 10 minutes. Yeah! Oh, let's give me a title. We were raiding against the server. We lost. <laughs> <laughs> End of video. Thank you and subscribe. Massive. What the f in bad placement? What the f Did Woods do Woods? Yeah. You might have to grab the pudding plan ammo for my body. I was. <laughs> I was singing. I was singing. Sing. Oh. Until it hits. Um, Five minutes. Right I wanna watch. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. It hit my life. Oh, that was good. 
go straight to roof bits. Mm. Did we damage anything? Side. In case one of them dies. On your body. On your roof. Are you full dead? Yeah, yeah. Right. You just got f***ing beamed, yeah. loser. Yeah. Six, 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 six. Come in, come Good to me. Two. Come to me. Come. I've got no peek. Esper, I'm not holding your body. Yeah, I'm going down. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in the core. I'm watch in core. Am I coming Just down? Watch our back. No, oh, shotgun oh, trap yeah. on every drop down. Yeah, I got all the AKs. I'm in core. I'm in the I'm in the oh, I died. <laughs> he so far down. I'm coming up. He's right there. Whether that's TC or not. Are you able to get the Woods' body or what? I have no rocket for half. I, 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 I can get it. I just need two, three. I got X-Play. Huh? I got X-Play. You want okay. Shotgun okay. traps. Yeah, truck and trap. Okay. Give me a gun. Watch Give me a gun, for me. Watch the drop down for me. Opening doors, you can see armor door. Yeah. Oh my god, so much. Right. 90 seconds to get it down. Quick. I got a okay. couple. I got rockets to check. Oh, okay. Come in here. Oh, behind you. Don't let him go. I need you to come down, Esper. Are you here, Esper? Oh, oh. Yeah, Is that? Yeah, yeah. Esper, hold that, hold they're that, and drop me in. Bottom, they're coming through bottom. Hey, it's, it's there, it's not gonna trap there. Yeah, it's second floor. Give it a whirl. Oh, no, there's one on both sides. <laughs> yeah, they have shoddy traps. <laughs> Is your body gonna despawn next? No, 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 no. Maybe I can get through this before it crashes. No! <laughs> no! If I can sit on that corner aspect and shoot out that shotgun trap that's there. <laughs> I ran around a corner and died to the other shotgun trap. I'm gonna say idiot. Now, I honestly can't explain why me and my doofus brain didn't manage to clip anything else after the restart, but we loaded back in and they were pretty much all done anyway. We'd gotten most of their guns and I blew through that last armored door which was their TC and their box of comps, which you can see here as we got all of this stuff from the raid. On our way back, we just gave our stuff away to a naked and that was pretty much it for the server. I did log back on two days later as I'd upkept the underwater bunker and it was still completely untouched. I honestly think this could be a very legit strat for people who either aren't DGENs staying up late for offlines or don't have the time to do that and just want to play on a server for a few days without having to worry about their loot being taken while they're sleeping. Because there's kind of the same thing with a cave where the upkeep and the build cost isn't that much, but the raid cost is crazy. Obviously you can go a lot more extreme than what I did here. You can add way more doors, honeycomb it even more and that will increase the raid cost and the build cost. But I think it's something that people should think about and maybe even try. Anyway, that is the end of the video here. It is a bit shorter. You know, sometimes in Rust, servers just don't go the way you think they're gonna go and you don't get as much kind of action as you think you're gonna get. And that's what we had, but we did have a fun two days and I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna know whenever my new videos are uploaded, which happens every two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.